come check the room to raise their hands. Out of this many people, there will be at least this many who will be bullied in their lifetime. We're proud to be here at TEDx Youth. And we're here to let you know that the end of bullying starts with you. At some point in your life, you're going to be bullied. We know as long as there are people on earth, there will be bullying due to disagreements and power. But what if we pull together to be a team? Then there will be less bullying and more friends and allies. A bully is a person who teases, picks, and hurts with smaller or weaker people. We are probably not going to solve this problem today or even tomorrow, but if we work together, our hope is to solve bullying in the future. There are many types of bullying, but we are going to discuss three of the most common types of bullying. Verbal bullying, cyber bullying, verbal bullying, and physical bullying. Here are their definitions and how to solve them. Cyber bullying is the use of electronic communication to send messages of an intimidating or threatening nature. Imagine, you could be on your phone, your computer, or even your iPad. And receive a very bad message. That is not nice. There are many ways to solve cyberbullying. It's possible you can just delete it. But if it is very bad, you should tell a grown up. And remember before you post something, there's someone else on the other side of the screen. Verbal bullying is, is, is using words in a negative way, such as insults, teasing, put downs, or to gain power over someone else's life. Verbal bullying is when the bully uses the victim's personal information against them. There are many ways to solve verbal bullying. You can just ignore it, but it may take off the boy is patient and persistent. So tell a grown-up, it's not how telling you can it's hard. Physical bullying is really the first form of bullying a target will experience. In physical bullying, the main weapon the boy uses is their body. It's very harmful, so you should always tell a grown-up before it happens. Unlike cyber bullying, you don't have a choice to ignore it. Unfortunately, some of you know the wrath of how harmful one can be. So, you can always just go tell a grown up after it happens. And this is how it hurts people. Here are some facts. The bullying event only lasts 40 seconds. One out of 10 student dropouts is due to bullying. Girlies bully, girls bully most in groups. <coughs> Here's how we believe you can help. Once, half, wait. Half of the bullying episodes stop when a friend or peer intervenes. Let's put a stop to bullying. Kindness matters. So, when you see someone being bullied, stand up and speak against it. Be kinder to the people around you. And when in doubt, put yourself in their shoes. And treat others the way you would like to be treated. The golden rule. Kindness matters. We want each and every one of you to be that kind of person. Be kind of a person who steps out and helps. Be kind of a person who shows compassion to others. Be kind of a person who, in the end, stops bullying. 